Over the last year, AI usage has become one of the biggest issues for universities across the country. This powerful tool, which can be used to write papers all on its own, has landed in the hands of every student on the country. And there seems to be no clear solution on how to prevent this tool from being used for cheating. We sat down with media, journalism, and film professor Dr. Ronald Becker to discuss the impact of AI on the classroom and how it can be effectively addressed and even used to promote learning. Yeah, because of AI, I changed one of the key assignments in MJF 105. Instead of just having them write a paper, I discovered when ChatGPT came out that if I were a student and I entered some information, ChatGPT could all but write the paper for me. So I decided to change it by breaking the assignment up. I have them first do a, a sort of worksheet that asks them kind of to do the crux of the analysis that they used to have to do in the paper. And then I have them go to ChatGPT, enter in the information, and then see what ChatGPT gives them. And then they have to compare and contrast their answers to what ChatGPT gave. So my thinking there was to sort of help them see what ChatGPT can do for them and not do for them, and also to see the consequences of handing something over to ChatGPT. The, the most immediate response that a lot of faculty will have, and maybe students, is to see, oh, like, this is a cheating tool. Mm -hmm. And it's true, it, it can be that. But undeniably, AI technology will be woven into the many, many careers going forward and students will be engaging with it in their, after they graduate. How? And AI is very useful in lots of ways, but it also has its limitations because you're, when you use it, you are handing over certain activities to the, to the algorithms. And if you don't know what the limits of the algorithm are, if you can't engage and use it critically, then you, you will lose out. You won't understand how bad, you know, judging how bad, like, so the, the example that I, I talked about in this assignment is students have to pick an advertisement and conduct a semiotic analysis of that ad. I went into ChatGPT and I typed in, give me a semiotic analysis of the Dolce & Gabbana ad with a couple embracing in the desert. What ChatGPT gave me was really good. And it was better than a lot of the kinds of analysis students might do because ChatGPT has been given all of this sort of cultural background. But 10 years down the road, if somebody was an ad, somebody entered the world of advertising, hopefully they would know more than ChatGPT. They would have a, a better skill set or they could see what and understand what the limits of the answer ChatGPT gave them. They need to not be dependent on it, but use it as a tool with their own wisdom uh, guiding the wheel, so to speak.